You know, there are a lot of things that we can fix in this world. We can do something about. We can design the cities that we live in, the kinds of houses we live in, the market, the economy, currency, how many trees we're going to cut, how many fish we're going to catch. Those things human beings can manage and control because we create them and do them. But some things are facts of life. We have to live with the speed of light, gravity, uh, entropy, the first and second laws of thermodynamics. Those are things that we have to accept and work ourselves around. And there is another one that is absolutely crucial. It's a mathematical reality called exponential growth. Bartlett gives the example of a beaker with a single bacterium in it, one that divides and doubles every minute. If you have bacteria and they grow by doubling and one bacterium divides to become two, the two divided become four, and the four become eight, 16, so on. Now that's steady growth, just ordinary growth. And if they uh, double in number every minute, and if you had just one bacterium in a bottle, an empty bottle at 11 in the morning, and then if you observe that the bottle's full at 12 noon. If you place the first bacterium into the beaker at 11 o'clock, and it's completely full, by 12. At what time is the beaker still only half full? 11.59. Then you've got a case of steady growth in a finite environment. And at what time was the bottle half full? And so you'll get answers like 11.30. No, this is steady growth. It doubles in number every minute. It'll be half full at one minute before 12. That's what time it is for us. In 40 years, 32 billion people will fight to survive. And the second question, if you were an average bacterium in that bottle, at what time would you first realize that you were running out of space? At 12 noon, the bottle's full, one minute before it's half full, two minutes before it's a quarter full, then an eighth and a sixteenth. Let me ask you, at five minutes before 12, when the bottle's only 3% full, and is 97% open space just yearning for development, how many of you would realize that there was a problem? At uh, 55 minutes, one of the bacteria says, hey guys, I've been thinking, we got a problem. We got a population problem. The other bacteria would say, Jack, what the hell have you been smoking, man? 97% of the test tube's empty and we've been around for 55 minutes. And they'd be five minutes away from filling it. So, say bacteria are no smarter than humans. At 59 minutes, they go, oh my God, Jack was right. We got one minute left. What are we going to do? Well, don't give any money to those economists that are saying we got to keep growing all the time. Uh, give it to those scientists. So they massively inject money into the scientific community. And guess what? In less than a minute, those bacterial scientists invent three new test tubes full of food. That'd be like us finding three more planets that we could use. What happens? In 60 minutes, the first test tube's full. 61 minutes, the second's full. 62 minutes, all four are full. By quadrupling the amount of food and space, we buy two extra minutes. Our home is the biosphere. It's fixed and finite. It can't grow. And we've got to learn to live within that finite world. Every scientist I've talked to agrees with me. We've already passed the 59th minute. minute to midnight.